Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for July 8th through the 14th. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Taurus. The overall energy for the reading the four of swords so you're looking like you're taking it easy yeah you know, just kind of chilling as much as you can at least that's the available energy so all right so just kind of going with the flow here and taking it easy in the recent past the hierophant the knight of pentacles the eight of wands something felt right here for you um whatever this is it's it's kind of building up it's forming it's 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 between you and another energy, so I don't know what this is about, but it's looking really good. It's feeling really good. It's looking like it's going somewhere. Um, this could be around work, but it uh, could be something else, too. It's just very, very, you know, slowly but surely putting something together here. Um, in the current situation, the hangman, the strength card, the queen of cups, man, you're looking good here, but you're definitely chilling. You're almost basking in the energy of love, which I feel like your heart is completely open here. And I'm not, sh I'm not even sure if it's a, you know, it's like, oh, in that direction or that it's a general kind of an energy of just feeling it and just staying in it. And you're trying to stay in it for as much as possible here. I do see that it's quite the task but you're just chilling by the looks of it hopefully you know because when we clarify i'm like ah what's going on here but this is a good energy um in the immediate future you get the tower the queen of pentacles the empress there's some sort of revelation here that's coming through for you um that could potentially have to do with uh, a sense of self-love um, so I'm not sure if you're actually feeling that to the fullest in the sense of, oh, that's what it is, you know, or, um, if you kind of get hit by something that just sends you in that energy here, I don't know, but, uh, let's see, let's clarify. Let me do the four of swords. For the Four of Swords, you get the Fool, the Queen of Wands, the Sun. Man, where do you come up with these energies? They feel so freaking good. There's a lot of happiness here. So as you kind of contemplate here over, you know, life's secrets, which basically are love and happiness, um, I don't know, it, it, it is directed though in certain ways towards some sort of energies it's it's not yeah it's mostly you and you feeling this and it's great but it ties up to something else or some other thing situations people uh so i don't know what this is but it, uh, whatever it is it feels good so keep on basking in that energy uh let's do the hierophant in the recent past the death card the knight of wands the tower Ooh, this is mad taurus at play Ooh, ooh, ooh! what is going on here i told you i told you when we clarify we see stuff underneath this is somebody made the bull mad uh bull destruction here I don't know what happened and who did what, but man, I wouldn't do that if I were them, but they did it. So I don't know. You, you, you poured some stuff on there. Definitely might have closed the situation off uh, here, or at least maybe that was the intention. But it, it, it looks one of those, you know, where you 
you're just chilling, living your life, doing your thing. And then the situation happens and you got to go address it. And the way you address it there, it's like, I don't think it ever came back. I don't know. But anyways, uh, for the Knight of Pentacles, you get the Ten of Wands, the Devil, the Three of Cups. Could it be the realization of something was appearing to be something that it was not? And that made you mad. Because something looked good here on the surface, but then at some point you're like, you, you figure out the truth. You're like, this is not what it looks like. This is not what I think it is. Quite the opposite. So it could be that you got quite mad there at some point because you've been duped. But the reality is you've been duped by yourself there. You know, so if anything, you were mad more at yourself. Um, because I, I see you acknowledging this is not what it looks like and still going with it for a minute, you know? So, okay, let's do the eight of wands, the nine of swords, the nine of pentacles, the four of cups. You're very upset. And I feel like this energy tries to come through and talk to you and open up and something, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you opened up to it. Um, in terms of, you know, they knock, knock, is Taurus home? And Taurus is like, yeah, but Taurus is upset. So we'll see, you know? So I don't know if eventually you did open that door back up. I have no idea. I see you stressed out and upset ultimately. But man, it made you mad. Okay. Let's do the hangman. The Three of Wands, the uh, Eight of Cups, the Page of Wands. It's been a while since that happened. So I don't even know what that is, but it's been a while. And you're looking like you've come out of it and you're coming out of it now in a very different way in the sense of kind of releasing yourself from it too. Because you're pointing at that situation and you're telling me that's in the past. It's been, it's been a minute. Um, and I'm not living through those energies anymore. Which I don't see that you do, so I feel like whatever that was, you've gotten past it. Okay, let me see the strength card. The Ten of Swords, the Moon, the Two of Cups. You are showing me something that did carry the energy of love. Uh, it still has a, a, a an ending to it. It's still kind of shown up in the past. It's not the same thing, though, because that looked like love. It's not that it wasn't love. It was just something else. There was something else to it that it didn't... It, it, it made it be something that it's not or something. I don't know. It was false. It was distorted. Something about that energy there wasn't right. Um, this one that you're presenting to me here, you're kind of showing it to me that you're still energetically tied up to it at least at your core so it's not anywhere in your proximity i would think uh physically so you're showing to me the real version of what you were looking for but it's still it's not here with that kind of swords it could be that you have experienced that but it's in the past too it's not present let's do the queen of cups the five of swords the high priest says the hermit oh that's what you're doing you're sorting through because you are going through some sort of you know basking in your heart being fully open but when that happens that actually reveals the truth of love you know and and through that you kind of go back and look at situations in your life in which there was love like true honest pure love and those in which you thought that's what it was but it wasn't really that you know so that's why this reading is showing up like that okay so you're recognizing the parts in which true love did show up and parts in which it showed up but it wasn't that it it, it was undercover okay <clears throat> Let's do the tower in the 
immediate future. The Hierophant, the Queen of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. You are getting some aha moment here. You are getting that whole, oh, oh my God. The problem is you don't know what to do with it. Uh, so you might get quite the epiphany here. I'm not sure in regards to what I feel like when we clarify further, we'll see. Maybe it is about whatever you're experiencing right now in terms of figuring out where, what really is love, what really isn't, you know, what you think it is, but it's not, you know, things like that. And then I see you coming up with quite the like big light bulb there shining you get clarity like like that in an instant the problem is again it's like well how do i apply that how do i what do i do with it you know like i know now but like what do i do with it um let's do the queen of pentacles the ten of pentacles the justice card the four of swords this is probably the best approach to that because when, okay, you do get this aha moment. You don't know what to do with it. You don't know, even if you got it, so what? Kind of a deal because everything's kind of up in the air. So the best approach that you're apparently kind of taking here is to focus on yourself. Which leaves this whole sense of, uh-oh, what do I do with things and things up in the air? Kind of leaves for everything to settle down so that you can take it from there and see if there is anything to do about it but meanwhile what are you going to do stress about it no you're going to take some time off and you're going to focus on yourself there which is probably the best idea you've had here you know for this because it looks good it looks really balanced it looks like whatever you're doing there brings a whole lot of balance not only to you but to your environment so feels really nice here uh let me do the empress in the um, immediate future. The temperance card, the hangman, the magician. Ooh, this is something. This is definitely an energy that is that perfect vibrational match to you. Um, <clears throat> you're manifesting something in regards to this energy. Nothing is happening. For right now for a little while but there's your manifestation reaching straight towards that energy now I don't even know if this energy has ever been part of your life or not or if they're gonna show up at some point in time but I see the manifestation and I see it coming through after quite a while but it's in regards to this perfectly matching kind of vibrational energy to yours so it's pretty cool really nice reading uh the way it started it kind of scared me i'm like oh, oh don't get a taurus mad do not do that people what's wrong with you what is wrong with you i'm a leo and i wouldn't go there you know and we're gutsy as fuck but like not with that shit you know you don't mess with that anyways from the universe you get the hermit the judgment card the page of pentacles you're in a pretty deep healing kind of a journey right now um i think you know i think for the most part you know because you're also showing me that there's a lot that you're learning and unlearning through this process so it's pretty cool pretty intense pretty deep but you may have quite a few of aha moments this one's going to be a big one um potentially in regards to this manifestation here but whatever it is i see you knowing how to handle it so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye